So Pat McAfee, if you're out there and Joe Rogan could talk his shit, bring me on the show. I'll explain the facts and the realities of wrestling to you. No one knows them better. So Pat, I love you and respect you, but I'm long overdue on your show. Okay? Quit kissing at WWE's ass and bring me on. <laughs> well, all righty. And, and Joe and Joe quit canceling. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to know something about wrestling, Pat, call me. We one, uh, one wrestling dot <laughs> <laughs> and, and go through Conrad to get me. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm actually. Uh, we follow each other. He could he could slide in my DMs. We can make that. Yeah, I know. I I love Pat. I, He's but the he, best, man. Yeah, he's, the, the relationship he has with Aaron Rodgers is phenomenal. And the relationship he has with DraftKings is even better. <laughs> no doubt. That is the best uh, relationship. Yeah, I was going to say, if, you, if I can be on Ryan Clark's to pivot, and I can be on uh, on be on mine, <laughs> which is going to be as big as yours eventually, you know, me and Conrad are locking down. <laughs> I can certainly be a guest on yours. You want to know something about wrestling, clothing, style, women? Call me. <laughs> okay. All right. You know, it's funny. Um, I, I don't know if you had a chance to watch the Elimination Chamber, but I actually managed to talk Megan into watching the main event. I had shown her some of the storyline recap videos, and uh, she was like, yeah, I want to see that match. So we watched the main event live. And, of course, during the course of that match, remember now, we're in Montreal, a largely yeah. French-speaking yeah. audience. And every time there's a chop, the whole place woos. Yeah. And I was explaining to her, I said, how crazy is it that Rick's not there? This is another country where the primary language isn't even English. And every time there's a chop, here comes a woo. And I bet a lot, there's a certain segment of those fans that are younger fans who never saw you wrestle who maybe haven't watched a bunch of your stuff on the network, but it's now just a part of. I don't know the lexicon of wrestling that it's just understood. If you do a chop, you woo. I, that's uh that's quite the legacy that you're not there. You're thousands of miles away and they're still doing it. Well, you're undermining me now. They also go woo all night long before the, before the lights come on. Of course. <laughs> of course. Yeah. I'm actually, I'm, I'm proud of it, but I don't get paid for it. So. <laughs> 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 that's just, I'm flattered, but I wish it was a dollar attached to it. <laughs> you know, it's funny because, uh, they do it at every, you know, sports sporting event in the oh, world. Sure. Too. Like, like we started the uh, Huntsville trash pandas here just yeah. before the pandemic, our minor league baseball team. And they woo just throughout the thing and yeah. throughout the games. And a buddy of mine went to a game and he's a realtor friend, not really a wrestling friend. And he texts me and he goes, Hey man, do they have to pay your father-in-law for every woo. And I go, he and I both wish so. Because yeah. that would, yeah, that'd yeah. be a different deal. We'd have a yacht of our own and <laughs> we'd have a drawbridge to get to it. Yeah, there you go. 